Well, it's kind of like a game of back and forth. She sends them to the troops overseas, and then they send them back to the states. Ron explains in tonight's Wood Vince Way. It's not like Walter didn't know what he was getting himself in for. Surrounded by a bunch of intense females armed with stamps, determined to accomplish a mission. You're ex-military. I would assume All you're right. good at taking Got orders. First door prize. Correct. And I've got. <laughs> the order of the day was very simple: make a very large number of homemade Mother's Day cards. Mother's Day is the second largest card making or card sending day of the year, besides the holiday card. Okay, before you start to panic, Mother's Day is still a few weeks away. You have plenty of time to get your card in the mail, but that's not the case for this bunch. The program is called From Our Hearts. It was started by Marty Shea. And my son was in Iraq seven times. And when he was in Iraq for the sixth tour, he asked me if I would send him some cards, blank ones, because I make cards, that he can send home to write into his wife and my grandchildren. That's what started it all. What it started was a nationwide effort to get homemade cards to our troops overseas. More than 38,000 of them have been made and sent by groups like this one, meeting at the Marine Corps League in Jefferson City. The goal today at the Marine Corps League was to make more than 1,200 cards. To meet that goal, they needed plenty of experienced stampers. Well, they got them and a few first-timers as well. It's my first time. I can stick things together. Donna Short is also a novice at this. She heard Martha's appeal and thought it sounded like a great idea. You gave her your stamp of approval? Is that what you did? Here, here, yes. <laughs> Just like the cards. These little cards that mean so very much to our men and women overseas. They contact us and say, thank you so very much. You brightened our day. You've given us a little piece of home. You know, you help us to stay connected with those, you know, with our loved ones. In Jefferson City, Ron Woodbin, ABC 17 News.